Hi, my name is Zoe of Embertech Solutions and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new email account using Microsoft Outlook 2007. If you don't have Microsoft Outlook, you need to view our other tutorial for using Microsoft Outlook Express. Click on Start and click on Email. This will launch the wizard. Click on Next and click on Next again. We want to manually configure our server settings so we want to click on this tick box here and click on Next. We're going to be using a POP email account so make sure that you've got this button ticked here and click on Next. Now for this next part you should have already received a configuration file from us and if you haven't you need to get in touch with us um, by telephone um, or by email and let us know because we'll need to send you the configuration file before you can carry on with this next step. We'll start by typing in your full name at the top, well my full name. This will appear when someone receives your email address and it says who it's from. So next you want to type in your email address and for this exercise I'm going to use email setup at embertech.co.uk. We'll leave the account type as POP3 and your incoming mail server, again this will be in your configuration file, is going to be in the format of mail dot your domain name which will be uh, whatever is, is in your configuration file and in my case it's embertech.co.uk your outgoing mail server will be exactly the same so that's mail dot your domain your username is usually your email address Type in your password and then we want to go to more settings. That's because when we send an email, the outgoing server, the SMTP server, is going to request authentication. So we want to select this, my outgoing server requires authentication. And click OK. I'm also going to recommend that in the advanced tab that you leave a copy of the message on the server. This means that if your computer breaks down at any time you've always got a copy of the email left on the server and you can always pull them back down again. You can specify if you want to remove this off the server after so many days. If not, just leave it on. You can also specify whether you want to remove it from the server when it's been deleted from your deleted items. You might want to do this, you might not want to do this. I'm going to leave it off. And then I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click on Finish. I've now set up my new email account. I don't have any messages at the moment, but I can send and receive a test message just to be sure. This area at the side is actually called the reading pane and it's more of a pane than you'll ever know. So I'm going to turn it off. This gives me a nice space for all my new messages when I receive them in my inbox. And that's it, you're done.